but once you get into the water, they're togs. Wow! wow. So it looks like you have a tiny bird in your pants. <laughs> Is that why? I yeah, always wondered why. It was... At the next robot, turn right. I just picture like a robot standing there like, Eat now you can go. <laughs> Hello. Hello! Hello! Hi, I'm Emma. I'm from the US. Hi, I'm Lauren from the UK. Hi, I'm Odessa. I'm from New Zealand. Hi, I'm Beth and I'm from Australia. Hi, I'm Jacob and I'm from South Africa. In Australia, <laughs> we use a lot of slang. I'm not going to do it on camera, but we swear a lot as well. It just make words out of different words. Odessa can understand me because she's a Kiwi and is very similar, but I don't think you would be under understand a lot of my slang. I don't think you Oh, maybe a little? I've learned a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I feel quite confident in my Aussie slang now. I was thinking the other day, Aussie is like 30% American, 30% UK, and just 30% we made up. New Zealand and Australia, we adopt similar slang, um, but we always do have like little arguments of like, you know, who's, who created, who created what? And then, wait, you guys say pants, not like underwear. And then we say pants and you guys say trousers. trousers. Actually, we say pants. pants. You guys say pants. You say trousers. I say trousers. Yeah. We say pants. Because oh. our pants, like this is oh. pants, but for you it's underwear, right? We call them undies. <laughs> undies. I call them undies too. In the US, I call myself American. I say I'm an East Coast American. Um, in the UK, it may depend on which part of the UK you're from, but I would be like, oh, I'm British or like English specifically. Pommy? Yeah, pom. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> usually we would just like say, depending on the region. So people from Liverpool would be a scouser. Rather than the entire country, we will just like specify a particular area. In New Zealand, we either say you're a Kiwi or a New Zealander. In Australia, you are an Aussie. In South Africa, like if you're in South Africa, you would just identify with your like language or cultural group. But abroad, South Africans like to call themselves Sethas, which is something that I do not enjoy at all. <laughs> I just don't like the way it sounds. I just prefer to call myself South African. So yeah, in the US we call it McDonald's. Mm -hmm. I was always told that in America you call it Mickey D's. Like that was the nickname for McDonald's. And I thought it was McDicks. And that was apparently <laughs> hilarious McDicks? last time. No, I, I guess I just say like, uh, I'm gonna go to McDonald's. In the US, the McDonald's, it can sometimes be a bit like dodgy, a little bit sometimes, depending what part of the US you're in. But yeah, I just say, oh, I'm gonna go to McDonald's. In the UK, we would say Mackie D's. Where I'm from, we say Mackie's. Or we would say like McDonald's rather yeah. than McDonald's. That makes sense because you get the Big Mac. Mickey D's and like you get a Big Mick. No. <laughs> <laughs> but Mackey D's totally makes sense. Uh, in New Zealand, we say Maccas. Yeah, in Australia, we also call it Maccas. Like we have signs changed mm -hmm. for it to just be Maccas. What? Really? That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, in South Africa, we also say McDonald's or McD's. Yeah. McD's. Mac. That makes Mac Big Mac yeah. makes sense. Yeah. In the US, we call them sneakers. Like, oh, I want to get a pair of sneakers. Like, oh, nice sneakers. Sometimes people also say like, oh, nice kicks you got there. Like, that's like know. slang, like, oh, nice kicks. In the UK, we call them trainers. Okay, so as a Kiwi, we literally, it depends on the shoe, but uh, we say sneakers, we also say runners, we can also say trainers depending on the shoe. Yeah, in Australia, those are 100% runners. Mm. In South Africa, we're a little bit similar to New Zealand. Um, we can call them uh, sneakers or techies. Techies? Yeah. Techies. Techies. That's so cute. No idea where it comes from. When you're like a kid, you're like, I, I want to get some new techies, you know? It's, a, it's quite a cute word. I, I like think, it. Yeah. I remember the first time I heard someone say trainers, they said like, oh, I've got to go get my trainers. I thought, you have like personal trainers? <laughs> like what? <laughs> We say like swimsuit, actually like for the woman, like one piece, bikini, uh, swimming trunks for the guys, you know. Yeah. The woman, like the full thing is a swimming costume. Which is where cozy comes from. Yeah, we call it swimming cozy. In New Zealand, we call it togs. The men's ones, we call them bodies. In Australia, we also say togs, but it, this does also depend on which state you're from. So I would say togs and bodies, um, but if you're from like, Queensland, you'd probably say um, yeah, bathers or cozies. Yeah, in South Africa, I guess kind of a generic umbrella term, you can just say like swimming costume. Mm. 
Mm. Um, but then if it's if it's like the girls one for swimming, like swimming costume and speedos for men. And then when you go to the beach, girls usually wear a bikini. Boys will wear uh, some board shorts. Board shorts, I guess, for like standing on your board. I really just heard of like swimming costume or cozy before. I, I haven't heard about togs. I haven't heard yeah. about any. That's a first for me. There's actually oh. a funny New Zealand commercial, and it's a guy in togs. And it's when it's acceptable to be undies, so underwear to togs, and it's this guy walking out to the ocean. It's undies, 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 togs. And it's just kind of, <laughs> what? I think, yeah, That's because so like funny. if you wear Speedos, I'm guessing, yeah, yeah. those are called undies, but once you get into the water, they're togs. Wow. wow. So the transition. Transition. Yeah. Yeah. We also have a bit of a rude name for Speedos, because you know, they look like underwear. We call them budgie smugglers. Budgie smugglers. Mm. Budgie oh, I've heard this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. a few prime ministers ago, our prime minister, Tony Abbott, wore some budgie smugglers to the beach. But it's because it looks like you have a tiny bird in your pants. <laughs> Why? I yeah. always wondered why That's it was. Right. I love it. I love it. I'm, I'm a tiny obsessed. bird in your pants. In the US, we say traffic light, stop light. Yeah, oh, stop here at the stop light, stop at the traffic light. In the UK, we also say traffic light. Traffic light or just the light, because we're lazy. <laughs> in Australia, we say the traffic light as well. In South Africa, we say robot. It's one of those things every single person from another country is always so confused about it. I, I don't even know where it comes from. Maybe it was the first kind of automatic <laughs> kind of functioning machine that we had in the country. but So you can say, like, at the next robot, turn right. I just picture like a robot standing there like, now you can go. <laughs> Actually, in the US, it can depend where you are. Generally, we say candy, although people around Ohio, they'll sometimes say like, oh, I'm gonna go buy some suckers, and that's a lollipop. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I got a couple of suckers. I'm like, what you have? <laughs> but we generally say candy, yeah. In the UK, we would call them sweets, or the ones on the sticks are lollipops. In New Zealand, we call them lollies. In Australia, we call them lollies. It doesn't matter if it's like a hard candy or like a soft like jelly, everything is just lollies. lollies. In South Africa, it's exactly the same. You just call it sweets, and the ones on the sticks, they're lollipops. Yeah, same. We call them lollipops on the stick. Mm -hmm. Everything else is candy. So can a marshmallow be a lolly? We just call it a marshmallow. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like a gummy bears, like rock candy, all of that. Like lollipops, it all counts as lollies. And then we all say chocolates. Yeah, chocolate okay. is different. Chocolate, yeah. Yeah, in the US we call it corn, corn on the cob. Let's have some like yeah. cream corn, yeah. In the UK, well, I would say <laughs> corn, like corn on the cob, but maybe some more posh people may say maize or people who come from like farming kind of areas, they may mm -hmm. call it maize. I already know it as corn, to be honest. Yeah, in, in, as, in Australia, we say corn or corn cob. Like, we don't say corn on the cob, it's a corn cob. You corn love to cob. shorten yeah. everything. Yeah. <laughs> like, my mom would make dinner and be like, yeah, we got some corn cobs. And... Yeah, I think for the most part in South Africa, we, we just call it milis. If you're going to have, like, corn on the cob, we call that milis. Um, if it's kind of like in flour form, we would call it maize meal. Corn would be more associated with popcorn. It's, I think it's an Afrikaans word. Um, that's just been kind of adopted because there are so many languages, like it's all just mixing together. But that's the one that stuck, milis. It sounds so fancy. Yeah, it's, it sounds like the opposite of fancy to me. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Milis on the cob. Milis yeah. on the cob. <laughs> <laughs> In the US, we would say that's great, that's good, that's awesome. Uh, in the UK, we would say that's great, that's fabulous, that's fantastic. In New Zealand, we say choice, that's choice. <laughs> or um, mean as, good as. In Australia, I'd say like, that's nice, like noise. <laughs> noise. <laughs> noise. Noise. <laughs> in South Africa, like, I guess we use some words that are unique to South Africa, it would be like kif. 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 Have you heard kif, kif. before? No. no. Or like lacquer? No. no. Lacquer. Lacquer. That reminds me of a car. Lacquer car. <laughs> <laughs> um, sometimes in Australia we do use this for like, I'm okay. Like I'm suffering, but I'm okay. <laughs> it's just kind of general, like everything's all good. It's like, you good? Good. Yeah, you good. In Māori, so in the indigenous language of New Zealand, you can also say kāpai, which means very good. And we can say, oh, kāpai. 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 Kāpai, yeah. yeah. 
I'm gonna say the same uh, with robot. Just reminds me of just someone doing the robot. So it's just like I always think it's very entertaining to see like like clothing ones, just how different it is between countries. So like the swimming clothes and also like runners, the different types of runners, names and stuff like that. I also really found budgie smugglers funny. <laughs> like it's something that I've heard before, but it's also now being like used in South Africa more and oh, more really? often. Yeah, yeah. Well done, Australia. Yes. <laughs> we like to make everything a bit rude. <laughs> It was fun and I finally got to find out the meaning behind budgie smugglers. So I will make sure I inform everybody in the UK about the meaning behind that. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like I can now like use some of these as well in my own vocabulary. Yeah. So like learning new stuff. Maybe not like fluently, but oh, yeah, we're done. definitely learning. <laughs> but so, yeah, today was so much fun. It's fun to see like which words we share, which are similar and which can be easily understood by other cultures because they're maybe so close. It's really funny. You guys are hilarious. <laughs> So today, we compared some English words. So if you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe or leave a comment. We'll see you soon. Bye! Bye.